start with breaking news affecting kids all around Indiana. The state has suspended ISEP testing because of a second day of massive technical problems with the online test. We have live team coverage tonight with Chris Prophet and Norman Cox checking in with schools, parents, and lawmakers. We start with Chris downtown at the IPS Education Center. Chris. There is a lot riding on that ISEP test. We all know that. But once again, for a second day in a row, the test is suspended after major computer problems. And tonight, there are more assurances that those problems will be fixed tomorrow. For a second consecutive day, the most important test that Indiana school children take all year was fraught with problems. By afternoon, the state school chief suspended ISTEP Plus testing after disastrous computer errors with the company it hired to do the online testing, CTB McGraw Hill. They had trouble logging on to the system, they had trouble staying in the system. There were also reports that uh, some of the screens were freezing, very similar to what we experienced Monday. In response, Indiana Superintendent of Public Instruction Glenda Ritz released a statement saying, in part, I'm greatly disappointed to learn that Indiana schools had their ISTEP Plus testing interrupted for a second consecutive day. Like all Hoosier parents, students, and teachers, I find these interruptions frustrating and unacceptable. The Indiana Department of Education is working with the company that administers the test to ensure that the rest of the test is administered smoothly and efficiently. She went on to say that we'll also conduct a thorough review to determine the exact cause of the issue. Parents we spoke with say they're hopeful that after two days of suspended testing, there's a quick resolution. I think the schools, especially Washington Township, has done an excellent job getting them ready. Um, I hope that everyone is working as fast and hard as they can to find out what the problem is and to get it solved so that the kids can keep up that momentum. Momentum lost for a second day with a company administering the all-important achievement test so far failing. One school administrator called this whole thing a debacle, and they have lots of reasons to be concerned tonight. One is that they are able to use that window of time they've been given for the testing to complete the testing. The Department of Education said late today, though, that they will work with schools to make sure that the tests are done fairly. Reporting live downtown, Chris Profit, RTV6. Chris, thank you. A longtime state lawmaker who's been closely involved with the education system says the two days of glitches may have discredited the whole testing process for the year, affecting students, teachers, and schools. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox is live in a newsroom with that part of the story. Norman? Representative Greg Porter chaired the Education Committee for 10 years. When I talked to him today, he said the two days of yes we are, no we're not have already damaged scores for the year. The Indianapolis Democrat says the test doesn't just impact student achievement, it also affects teacher evaluations and where schools are graded A through F. But he says those evaluations are now out the window because you can no longer depend on the stressed out student scores. I don't think you can. Now at this point, with two days out of the test and then come back open up another window, gear everybody up, get the drilling f flowing. You know, it was kind of like, you know, positive stress for students that, that take the test. Now it's gone to toxic stress because they don't know when they're going to take the test, and that's not good. Given the previous testing glitches with CTB McGraw-Hill, I asked Porter if it's time to go to court and end the relationship, as the state did with the company that fouled up the welfare modernization plan. He said that is up to Superintendent Glenda Ritz. Todd. All right. Norman, thank you very much for